Welcome to one of our Alpha Laval 360 degree service and maintenance videos. With Alpha Laval service, you maximize the reliability and uptime of your equipment. In this video, we will focus on how to conduct service and maintenance on the Alpha Laval DuraCirc pump using our tools and service kit with genuine Alpha Laval spare parts. How to change the flushed seal service kit. First, mark the orientation of the front cover. Remove the rotor case cover nuts and cover. Remove the front cover P ring. Now mark the positions of the rotors. Insert a plastic block between the two rotors to prevent them from turning. Remove the rotor nuts. Make sure the rotors are perpendicular to each other. First, remove the rotor that has both wings exposed. Now remove the other rotor. Remove the rotor nut P rings. Then remove the rotor shaft O rings. Extract the rotary seal face and square ring from the rotors. Use a small tool and pass it through the holes in the front of the rotor to aid removal without damaging the rotor or the seal. Remove the squad rings from the static seal faces. Remove the static seal face and squad ring from the static assemblies. Remove the static assemblies from the rotor case. Next, remove the rotor case retaining screws. Remove rotor case, tapping both sides with a soft mallet if required. Remove the lip seals from the rotor case. How to assemble the flushed shaft seal. Apply a small amount of suitable lubrication to the new lip seals. Press the lip seals into the rear seal bore of the rotor case until they are flush with the end of the bore. Refit the rotor case, ensuring the rotor case screws are tightened to the required torque as stated in the instruction manual.
align the mark on the front face of the stationary assembly with the lugs in the bore of the rotor case. Press back, keeping the drive ring square to the bore until fully engaged. Check that the static assemblies are fully seated by checking the dimensions stated in the instruction manual. Lubricate the squad rings and fit them to the static seal faces, ensuring the lip of the elastomer is towards the seal. The colored mark should be facing away from the static seal face. Align the slots in the static seal faces with the pins in the static assembly and press back gently until fully engaged. Wipe clean the stationary seal faces with solvent. Lightly lubricate and fit the new rotor shaft O-rings. Lubricate the square ring elastomer and fit it onto the rotary seal face. The colored dot should be turned away from the rotary seal face. Align the cutout on the rotary seal with the pins in the bore of the rotor and press back gently until fully seated. Wipe clean the rotary seal faces with solvent. Next, make sure the rotor case is fitted and tighten the rotor case screws according to the specification in the instruction manual. Refit the rotors, aligning the missing spline in the rotor with the shafts. Reposition the rotors using the marks made during disassembly when refitting existing components. Lubricate and fit a new P-ring elastomer to the rotor case, ensuring the colored mark faces towards the rotor case and is fully seated in the groove. Lightly lubricate and fit the new P-ring elastomer into the groove on the rotor nuts, ensuring the correct orientation. Fit the rotor nuts and tighten them to the required torque as stated in the instruction manual. Use a plastic block to stop the rotors from turning during tightening. To check that the rotors are correctly synchronized, turn the drive shaft by hand and check all clearances with a suitable gauge to make sure they meet the recommended clearance figures as stated in the instruction manual. Finally, fit the cover of the rotor case onto rotor case and tighten the nuts on the rotor case cover. Apply torque as stated in the instruction manual. To maintain the Alpha Laval DuroSuck pump, these tools are required. 
Always remember to read the instruction manual thoroughly to make sure you cover all maintenance steps. This video only shows you some of the steps. When servicing Alpha Laval equipment, always wear appropriate personal protective equipment. Thank you for watching.